I'm going to show you step by step how to perform the end closing for fixed assets in SAP S4 HANA system. My name is Undiz and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus it, with finance. Set. I work as an SAP FICO contract. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are now just reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. I'm building a document that will become a PDF, how to navigate in the SAP at a glance YouTube channel. If you want to receive the PDF once it's ready, please connect with my LinkedIn, send me a message, I want the PDF and your email, and I'll send it back to you once it's ready. This video of today is a compilation of videos of this channel. A step-by-step -step how to perform the year-end closing for fixed assets. In SAP S4 HANA system is slightly different. The closing of fixed assets rather than in version ECC. I'm not talking only about the Fiori apps, but the transaction codes are also different. Now, without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the SAP SAP we menu. So now we go to the accounting, financial accounting, periodic processing and transaction code depreciation run. So before you perform the end year and closing, one of the prerequisites is to run all the depreciations for the assets for the 12, 12 periods of the previous year. Otherwise, the system will not allow you to transport the balance of the assets for the next year. So you need to run the AFAB or AFABEN transaction code, or you have to go to the Fiori app, schedule asset jobs, where you define depreciation run. So basically, this video is in the description of this one. There was in, in the ESAP, ECC, another transaction codes that we normally would run before we close the year. It would be after the 12 periods of depreciation run, which was called ABST2, a report that would make in the reconciliation between FI and assets. The good news is this transaction doesn't exist anymore, it's one step less to perform the year-end closing. So this is the first step. Second step, which is also different. When we go down, there is here a transaction fiscal year change, which is the FAGLGV TR transaction codes. I'm going to double click. Also this transaction code is different now, is moving not only the balances of assets, also the balance of GL accounts. Uh, there is another video in this channel to run this step. If I'm going to show you in the Fiori app, what is the one? It is this one. Earend closing accounting. That's the one which is the same as this transaction code here we use in the Fiori app, this one. Just let me give you a quick reminder. If you know now how to navigate in the Fiori Launchpad, you also can find in the description of this video the videos that will teach you how to do it. Also, if you are struggling to find Fiori apps in the SAP library, please, there is another video you can watch in the end of this one. And now we have another transaction to run, which is also a new transaction code. In this previous system, SAP ECC, it was a transaction code AJRW, but here is FAA underscore CMP. This is to perform the fiscal year change, but this is the step number three. You never you have to follow the steps like that so you not you will not get issues. I'm going to tell you something. If you run the step number two first, it will update you here the the fiscal year. So when you run this step, it will update you this one. When you run the second step, it will update you here the year. So first run the depreciations, then move the balance, carry forward, and then make this step. This step in the Fiori apps 
is a different theory app, which is called execute and do year-end closing. It's uh, quite similar to the transaction code that we are seeing, but the good news is also the video is also here in this channel. I hope you are enjoying this video as me doing for you. Please make a like to us. And if you think this video was very helpful for you, please also make some notes in this video. Now you know how to perform the year-end closing by fixed assets step by step in SAP s 4 m system. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget. Subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.